hi guys welcome back to my show my name is Freya and here we discuss trans identity issues this video is I've the second time I've started it now and there was two responses to something one somebody in the comment section called me a narcissist the response is I'm really not the second one is sometimes in these transitions to survive it, going from male to female or female to male, as I'm post-op trans female, in order to survive these types of journeys where you're going to push your body to the absolute limits of what it can cope with, please tell me how you could not slightly use a little bit of narcissism, self-love, in order to survive this journey. Because in order to go through all the changes that your body's going to go through um that the, your mind is going to understand your mental capacity is going to adapt and to go through that journey is excruciatingly painful and it's not fun and you have to have a lot of self-love and you have to be a little bit narcissistic because the amount of doctors that um are going to push you away the amount of friends that are going to turn away the family that might leave you um the jobs that might be prejudiced against you in the different workplaces um this can happen to anyone who's going to fully transition if you come under the the binary transgender category and again it's a huge umbrella um you know category but you have to love yourself you have to tell yourself that you can do it and you believe in yourself. Oh my God, I'm going to sneeze. Try not to. Anyway, that's the response to that. I'm going to go now because I'm going to sneeze. But no, I'm not a narcissist. And if you watch all my content, surely you'd know that by now. But please ask yourself, could you change your body without forcing yourself to try and be self-promotional? which it may be in some cases it's necessary to have a tiny bit of narcissism. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and leave comments. Bye guys.